What do you think, John? That's everything out of the way. Isn't it? All right, let's see what we can do then. That's good enough. The crane creates some tension and lifts the trailer out of the bushes and mud. And just when you start to get cocky, bam! Who hooked that? Is that car staying? Huh? And that is why safety is always first. Because anything can happen out here. I think we need to hook this truck and pull it around. It ain't coming, is it? Pull them both together? We gotta rehook. Yeah, I'll bring the front right around. We'll just right out. Because this dually truck and trailer jackknifed in a pile of twisted metal. Hold up, Bill. Removing the trailer may be the tricky part. Hold up, Bill. You gotta go easy, Bill. Hold. It's gonna jump. We gotta get this, hold on. We gotta get this blue hooked where I can stabilize a little bit. That blue's gonna have to be hooked. Yeah, watch. Yeah, somewhere, it's gotta come back here somewhere. I just don't want it to take off when it starts up over them thing. Yeah. I can stabilize it from taking off. The guys attach the other winch from the boom to stabilize the load. First on one side, then the other until it's safely rolled onto the roadway and neatly placed until some of the rollbacks get back to the scene. We'll leave that there until he gets and back. And now it's on to the big fish, that dually truck. All right, we gotta get Billy on it because I can't pull and swing at the same time. It's gonna break my pull. He don't want to pay that bill. Chainsaw, I got one right here. Chainsaw, eh, chainsaw, eh, eh, chainsaw. Chainsaw. Eh. Chainsaw. Eh. <laughs> Chainsaw. Eh. Right there. <laughs> this one's a little heavier. I can't pick it like we've done the cars and stuff. That's the reason we're we're just gonna winch this one the same way. I just reaching out that far, we just can't do it. And since we got the setup, we're gonna use the cables coming in behind. We might have to take that strap and put it on this side in a minute. That way I can work it up over the guardrail. Then once we get the front over the guardrail, then I'll grab the rear and pick it up. Woo, we dug some mud, didn't it? You need that chainsaw to cut that? <laughs> and <laughs> it's stressing me out. <laughs> so much easier just take the chainsaw and cut it. Oh, Lordy, what am I going to do with them? Yeah, go. Lifting a truck of this size is always interesting. All right, hey, uh, we need to get the red on it. Got another four foot, now I'm going to put both hooks on and pick it up over the guardrail. They don't call them three quarter ton trucks for nothing. Once we get it up here, Get these wheels on the ground, then I'll hook her back. I just don't want, I was putting a lot of pressure on that. On my neck, and I didn't want to put no more pressure on it. But these guys make it look easy. Coordinating multiple winches, manpower, and know-how to set this wreck back on the road. I say let's get it here where I can pick it up. With our spreaders again. You want to do that? That way we ain't got to drag it across everything. It's shot anyways. Last but not least. I'll put a strap to it and you can drag it over here. Hey, I'll put the rear ones on it and I'll drag it to, with them hooked. Or the front. Hook your uh, spreader on that blue bars. That way we can pick that one up. They rig up this small car to be dragged up the hill to a better place so they can pick it straight up. I'm past the tree now, I can get it picked up. <laughs> Some more rigging and now they can pick this little car up. And yeah, just let it hang there a second. I said noon. That's right on time, but now we'll get everything back to the shop. Now that that's out of the way. Get on top back, can you? Put on up here. I can try, I can try. 
If you get over it, I'll bring 9950 down. I can drive. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what we can do? Hey, if we can't, Billy pull out here and back up, put the chain to it, and drag us up the hill a little bit, get it out of my way. I love it when a plan comes together. Fellas, we're getting ready to close shop because this is looking real good now. Oh, man. I'm about to go home to bed because I'll tell you what, it's going to be a long night. A long night. Yeah, just throw a chain on it and drag it up the hill a little ways. Then that way I can go ahead and load this car. When everybody gets here, we're all we gotta load is that. I can open roads. I can get this stuff on rolling, baby. Look at that. That's a sweet driver right there. Look at him. He's cool. He's got his new hat on. Look at him. Oh, he stuck his tongue out at me. <laughs> he don't like me. <laughs> That's probably good right there. Yeah, that'll work. Yeah, we got this sucker. That's a GMC, ain't it? Oh yeah, GMC. Took a heck of a ride. It's, nobody got hurt, that's the main thing. Ain't a straight spot on it. I think it's been hit everywhere, but it's unreal, unreal, unreal. And we got this fine right here. That's a brand new car. Holy smokes. That's brand spring new. Ooh, that wasn't good. We'll have to take that one back to the dealership. <laughs> There's a wreck on a wreck. That's what's bad. Three vehicles, trailer, and a pickup. So we've actually done pretty good. I mean, we made pretty good timing on this, working around the power lines and everything else. Huh? Went pretty good. We should be able to wipe it out here in another. 45 minutes or so. And that's how it's done. I think that so. Went nice. Yeah, that's a wreck on a wreck. Yeah. It was already wrecked, so you really don't know if it was in the wreck the first time or the second time. <laughs> but it wasn't in a wreck on the third time. No. Let's just have a little conversation right here. I mean, how did this recovery go there? I think it went smooth. Went smooth? Huh? That was good. How do you think? Even though they were right there, we got down damaged free. That sounds good. What else we could have done different? That went pretty good. Say, uh, nothing else got damaged. That's the main thing. Nobody got hurt. So I think it went pretty good myself. Another 30 minutes here. We'll have the road open back up and we'll head back into the shop. He hit the pole first, and I think that's what, you can see his tracks where he come down off the hill there, and he basically ripped your shade him over. Somebody else broke, done hit that pole before, but that, you can tell where he hit the new one. He thumped it pretty good. Luckily, there's a new pole there. Or he'd have been over his side, and, and that would have been just as bad. Of course, he had to check. I'll check the seat. Yeah, it's pretty clean. <laughs> now we've got a couple of them got that job done. We are loaded up and we are going to the shop. But I appreciate it, Bray, checking us out again. Look at him. Oh, yeah. Cool shades. Got to do it all. Do it all. He's good at it, too. Look at him. Working man. Got working gloves on. New hats. Oh, yeah. Got the new hats out. Yeah. All right. But like I said, appreciate everybody watching them. We'll see you on the next one. And I figure that'll be tomorrow. <laughs> Thank you. And it's on to the next one for the crew at Glenn's Towing and Recovery. That's just the nature of the business. That tow business. See you next time. Driving here in the mountain state is always potentially dangerous, and anything can happen. Glenn's Towing and Road Service can help you, whether it's big or small, Glenn's Towing does it all. Broken down? Have an accident? Glenn's Towing has the heavy-duty towing equipment to get your car or truck or tractor trailer off the side of the road or off the side of the mountain. We've got the best 
and biggest fleet of towing and recovery equipment in southern West Virginia. Backed by over 15 years experience, we've got the know-how to tow or recover your vehicle without any further damage to your property to get you back on the road. With four locations across southern and central West Virginia, we cover Kanawha, Raleigh, Mercer, Fayette, Putnam, Boone, Nicholas, Greenbrier, and Wyoming counties, as well as I-64, 77, 79, and 45 miles of the West Virginia Turnpike. So now you know who to call because Glenn's Towing does it all. 304-252-6287.